What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gavin, and welcome to episode 9, I believe, of the Pokemon Volt White Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, if you missed last episode, you missed one of the best played battles of my entire life. Um, we took on the gym leader, Lenora, and emerged victorious without a single loss, even though there were some questionable choices by the AI in that, in that game, in that battle. But anyway, we are out here. We have Cerbera, our level 25 Intimidating Houndoom with Bite, Ember, Heal, Bell, and Snarl. We have Megan, our level 25 Starter Celio holding Mystic Water with Powder Snow, Body Slam, Water Gun, and Volt Switch. We have and Logan, our level 25 Giratina with Dragon Breath, Extreme Speed, Ominous Wind, and Ancient Power. Now, last episode, we, um, like I said, we did the thing. And we then, oh hello bird, we witnessed the thievery of Team Plasma stealing the skull of what appears to be a Dragonite, I'm 99% sure it's a Dragonite, even though they never call it that, um, actually I'm 100% sure it's, it's definitely Dragonite, um, but they steal its skull for whatever reason, I don't really know, um, and they uh, made off with it, so we are trying to get it back. This leads to Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, we might have trouble. I personally don't really care about that. I'm just excited about this encounter we're gonna get right here. Well, you see, there are two ways off Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight through the path, or the road that goes straight through it, and the path that winds through the woods. I'll take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma is hiding in there somewhere? You'll run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do it. Let's do this for Lenora's sake. All right, Bird, you take the easy way out. That's fine. Question of the day. I've been forgetting to do them. I don't know why. But question of the day. What is your favorite kind of chocolate? I just went down to the vending machine in my building. I saw this nice Dove dark chocolate. Uh, and I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, to me, is the best chocolate. It's relatively healthy for you. And I, I, I like, sort of like, the bitter taste of it. What is your favorite kind of chocolate? One, two, one, two. Keep in time with each other. One, two, punch. We discuss, we discuss what to do before a battle. I like how there's one that's, like, super extra, like, one, two, punch, and then I'm just like, eh, we talk about it. Mayo and May. Because we have powder snow. Plus, I'm definitely more afraid of Venipede than I am uh, a Sawabo as well. Snarl will definitely kill the uh, Sawaddle. Do spread moves not do split damage in this gen? Because Snarl did so much damage in the gym battle against Lenora, too. So maybe they don't. If that's the case, I'm just spamming that in every gym battle. That's re that's really curious. I don't know. Maybe maybe they don't. Maybe they didn't do that until Gen Six. I know they did in Gen Six. But maybe maybe spread moves don't. Hmm. Hello there. You stubborn brat. When I'm through with oh that's right, dude. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Ready after me, man. Or woman, you can be a girl, I can't really tell from behind. 
you are in fact a dude. Team Plasma Grunt. Hmm. Sundial is such a cool Pokemon. So if that's the case and spread moves um, don't do split damage, I'm glad that I kept this over Aurora Beam then. Associates. I don't give a crap. I don't, I don't I don't give a care. Because we're out here getting encounters. I should have went into the double out of grass. But anyway. I mean that just makes our rock need, rock weakness worse. Um But I'm not gonna complain about a typhlosion. I'm not gonna care. Um let's go ahead and Do I think a snarl will kill you? That's the question. I'm gonna go for an Ember, because it's resistant. I mean, you're a Typhlosion, so I... Oh, no! Extra sensory! Okay, yep, you're getting... You are joining the squad. Um... I'm a little shook right now, to be honest. Um... I'm gonna go Megan? I wish Megan had Thick Bat. This is gonna hurt. Oh, never mind. Um, let's go for a. I'm gonna heal first. Do I have a sneaking suspicion this thing like knows eruption or something? Okay. I think it'll live a body slam. We can we can paralyze it, so. Excellent. We can even do that again. And it's paralyzed. So let's switch back to Houndoom. Because we're immune to um, one of its moves and we take little, very little damage from the other. Especially since it's gonna be next to it. I didn't check how many Pokeballs I have. Oh. I hope this is enough. The field goal is good! Oh man, I'm so happy. Typhlosion, the volcano Pokemon. It attacks using blasts of fire. It creates heat shimmers with intense fire to hide itself. You are... Male. Um, I'm gonna name you. Now I'm gonna make it super funny. Um, I'm gonna name you. Spock. Because you know what race Spock is? He's a Vulcan. Let's check you out, my man. There's a C in Spock, isn't there? If there's a C in Spock, I'm going to die.
There's definitely AC in Spock. So, well, there I am. So Naive Nature is not that bad. With Ember, Quick Attack, Extra Sensory, and Flame Mill. That's such a powerful moveset. You have Priority, you have Coverage. You have Physical and Special Stab. An Electric Gem. That could come in handy with a Vol Switch. What else could we have had in here? I'm so glad. I'm so glad that, that did not occur. Alright, lucky thing. We can just go right outside and heal up with the nurse. We don't have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. We have a nice immunity immunity on our team now, too. Not that um, our team is really not weak to fire at all, but it's nice to have an immunity to it. Any kind of immunity is good. Alright. Let's go ahead and switch you to the front. Do you have any items I can give you? Hmm. No, not really. Man, our item pickups have been really bad this game. <clears throat> this one's a girl. My, my, my. Could you be looking for something? Plasma. Not gonna lie, after Team Skull, Team Plasma's battle music is the best. I love Team Plasma's battle music. Look at his friggin' mouth. Um, which is higher? I think our special attack is higher. I don't know why I went to that. I'm pretty sure our special attack is higher. Um, oh yeah, by a decent amount. But Flame Wheel is stronger, right? That's 40, and that's 60? 75. No, okay. Uh, Flame Wheel's definitely a strong team. Fire types is not great. But at this point, do we have a choice? Oh my word. In case this thing has pursuit, I'm just gonna heal. I'm a good Let's Player. Stop critting me! I go for the quick attack out speed and it has Prankster. So that's cool. So I just can't use quick attack next turn. Wow. I would have been so upset. My hunches, you're absolutely sabotaging us because of something. I don't know, I couldn't read it that fast. Okay, you, Mr. Ranger, battle me, and then give me something. I, I, they give us berries normally, I wonder if those are randomized too. Ranger Forest. Lord Princess. Dunspice, I love you. Don't make me kill Dunspice, I love it. It's like, you know how Nappy is with Hydreigon? That's me with Dunspice. I don't know why, Um, but Dunspice... That did absolutely nothing.
Alright, Dunsparce is my number one Pokemon that I wish that they had done more with. Cause like, could you imagine a Mega Dunsparce? That would be so lit. Get wrecked. That's kind of bad. Um, okay, you did this for a reason. And in case you have guts, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to paralyze you. Are you going to know Night Slash already? Aerialize. Okay, that's fine. Get the boost, get the boost, get the boost, get the boost, get the boost. Get the boost. I understand it's only a 10% chance to get the boost, but at the same time, I've used it more than 10 times recently, and we did not get the boost ever. Okay, give me f berries? Is that what you give me? Yep. I mean, they're useful. Better than nothing. Oh yeah, I need to go heal Spock. Let's go do that real quick. for in here like do I fight this man oh he do okay well we're fighting him anyway my Pokemon strong points you'll see them if you fight sure so um I think I mentioned this a little bit ago like, maybe a couple episodes ago, or maybe it was on the Ruby Bender Lock, I don't quite remember. Um, but I am doing uh, a good amount of bulk recording. Um, just to make sure, because I am I'm only home for two weeks, like, home from school. And while I am at home, I will not be able to upload anything, so I'm trying to get everything situated beforehand. Um, and get all of the things recorded then, before I come back. Little baby. I'm gonna stay. Make an extra sentry. I'm pretty, you'd probably have flash fire as well. So I know it's it's the hidden ability, but I didn't even think about it. A trico. We need a Mon with Water Absorb, that's what we need for our next member. Cause like, we're not like, ridiculously weak to water. You probably have Multi-Scale too. You definitely have Multi-Scale. Um... I'm gonna push the big gray and yellow button and watch this, just because I'm kind of afraid that it has Hydro Pump. Oh yeah, the pressure thing didn't come up, so it definitely has more high scale. But we'll, we'll see how much this does. Agent power does like 15%. You definitely have multi-scale. Man, as much as I love Typhlosion, Dragon Rush. Um... Having a multi-scale Lugia would have been so incredibly good. Oh, you're a trainer. I thought the other lump was a trainer. Hmm. Pangela. Typhlosion is so good in here. Well, I mean, it is a forest, so I guess most of the people in here would have grass or uh, bug Pokemon. So that makes sense, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, I don't actually say ta I just thought about this. I don't actually say Tangela Tangela. That's how the Pokédex says it. A Bulbasaur. Um, we will... We might as well stay, honestly. I mean, this, there's not much this thing can do to us, even though we are poisoned. Yeah. Technician Scyther, that did zero. Wow. Another Chester Berry. You can't even mix it up, Game Freak. I wanted different berries. Let's see if this dousing machine tells us there's an item in that lump, too. Revenge. That can be kind of useful. Not, not really for Cerbera, because Cerbera is pretty fast. If it were Megan, I definitely would. Um, but there's not. I don't really see a point in uh, in teaching it to Cerbera. Take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. All right. Next, let our Pokemon fight. Just give me something besides a Chester Berry. That's all I want. Oh, I'm still poisoned, aren't I? Well, fluff. This should kill. I mean, it's not like we can get poison pointed anyway, so. So Spock is now caught up with the rest of the squad. Um, that's super clean. Also. Ooh. I want to say they made you a ground type. I want to say Pinsir is now a ground type in this game. Let's check. Okay, so you have Mold Breaker. Let's go for a Water Gun. Nope, you are not a ground type. You could be a fighting type though, Ono. I'm gonna look that up real quick. I know they did something with Pinsir. Uh, Pokemon changes. It is a word doc, so give me a sec. I'm gonna have to comb through it a little bit. Did they make you a fighting type? Pinsir, no, they did not change your type. Really? I really thought they did. This has um, ability one as Moxie, ability two as Mold Breaker. comb through that a little bit later, just to see. Um, so I know they updated some Pokemon stats as well, I just saw, I just like scrolled like down a little bit, um, and it, it showed they gave Flareon a pretty decent buff, because that's something I've always been like upset about, is that Flareon has so much potential, but like its stats are just in the wrong places. Like, all the evolutions they have a stat spread of one stat at 130, one stat at 110, one stat at 95, two at 65, and one at 60. Um, 
And the way that Flareon's is, is that its attack is 130. Its special attack is... Or no, its special defense is the 110. It's, uh... No. Yeah, special defense is 110. Special attack is 95. Speed is 60... So yeah, speed is 65. Defense is 65. HP is 90. And all that just, like, makes absolutely no sense. Like, if you're going for, like, a specially bulky, um, physically attacking Mon, I would think you would give it the 130 to the physical attack, and then the 110 to HP or special defense, and then the 95 to HP or special defense, and then the rest of them don't really matter, because if you're bulky, you don't really care about your speed as much, especially if you're specially bulky. You don't care about your physical defense that much. Um, and your special attack, like, you don't need it anyway. If you are a physical attacker. So I've never understood why they did that. There are so many encounters in this forest. Could have had a multi-scale Lugia. Could have had, um, we had a, we have a good Typhlosion. Could have had a Metagross. I'm gonna heal, um... Heal Spock real quick. I'm gonna heal Megan real quick too. I will take that. Um, so this like halves your speed, right? So I don't really want to give it to Cerbera. Megan already has the Mystic Water. I don't really like. It. I guess we're giving it to Logan. Logan's speed is decent for like a for a Let's Play. Um. Oh, hello there. Um. Oh, we're at 30 minutes. Okay, so I guess we can call it an episode. Um, I didn't even realize that we were already at 30 minutes. So I guess I'll, I'll pick through the, um, the, like, Pokemon changes for anything super notable. And if I think of anything, I'll, like, write it down and make sure I talk about it. Um, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at CoolTrainerGav. And until next time, smile later.